up and I'm back with another video. So today I'm doing something completely different. Normally you'll see me and Mark and we're doing some product review or some technique review detailing a car. Today I'm solo, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review my sim rig, specifically the main parts of my sim rig. The steering wheel with pedal base, the actual rig itself, which is the seat connected with the monitor stand and all that. And maybe I'll even throw in my PC review, which I built not too long ago, upgrade after 10 years or so. It's gonna be a little bit different, not what you're used to, but it does work into detailing my therapy because that steering wheel is actual leather. So I can go and grab my leather care supply, the supplies and clean and protect the leather. The same with, this, with the seat. It's a cloth seat, just like an interior of a car. I'll use the same techniques to clean and protect that too. So stay tuned, because I got some good stuff for you. All right guys, so I'm back. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of this G29 steering wheel from Logitech. So it's a 280 millimeter circumference steering wheel. Uh, this is anodized aluminum, metal paddle shifters. It's a gear driven unit, it's kind of noisy, but it's okay. It has 2.5 nanometers of torque, which is the amount of force that the force feedback gives you. So when you're going over bumps and curbs and you know, sausage curbs, as they call them in racing, you feel all the, you know, the wobbling and the pull of the wheel, it's super awesome. The pedals that you'll see down here, accelerator, brake, and clutch, and just like in a regular car, I got the shifter, which actually has a leather shift boot, and you can bang the gears just like you would in a car. That's kind of cool. And the rig, the seat from Next Level Racing. As you can see, you can see it gets a little dusty in here. This is a nice little uh, steel rig here that holds it all together. Let's see if we can get back here. Monitor mount. I'll give you a quick review of the rig also, because I really enjoy it for the price. I mean, I don't think you can do any better and get a quality name brand setup. So, Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so this is, I know, going to look a little weird, but we're hopping into one of the GT3 Porsches, and I'm going to drive around. I've actually got you on a microphone, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better. You may hear the engine sounds coming from the TV. Uh, I didn't want to inundate you with all these sounds while I tell you about this wheel and how much I like it. So let's get going. Yeah, so excuse me if I'm not super paying attention to the camera like I know you've all grown accustomed to. So this wheel here, I don't know if you can tell, you can see the lights flashing on it, is a great beginner wheel. Um, it's not as powerful as some of the nicer other wheels that you may find on the market but for an entry level experience you really can ask for more um i did get this as a refurbished unit from logitech direct for like about 199 dollars uh 20 dollars with expedited shipping so i think i was like 220 all in just for the wheel um it's really, as a beginner, like I said, you really can't fault it. It has everything that you need to get started with a easy learning curve. No overcomplications, no being overly powerful where you have to worry because with some of the stronger direct drives, if you lose control and the wheel starts to spin, it can hurt you. Uh, the pedals, I am using just two pedals. I'm not a, 
I can drive manual, but it's just not really the same when you're doing it in a game, really, a, you know, a simulator like this. The wheel itself, like I said, it's leather wrapped. Feels great to the touch. You know, it's easy and gentle on the hands. But if you do put in the hours, you can get some calluses from this in here. Um, yeah, I kind of get a little distracted when I'm here just because <laughs> I'm like totally drawn in. Uh, the wheel, like I said, can get a little noisy just because it is gear driven. It has two motors in here that work the gears to give you the force feedback. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see. You see. To give you the strength. It's not very strong, but I think it's strong enough. As you can hear, it's a little loud. So my original plans of setting this up on a little wheel stand just to take it into the bedroom at night to play with didn't work out. So I ended up, you know, setting up the whole rig. I can tell you as a beginner, I'm very glad I ended up picking this up. I'm actually really glad that after whoo, I'm maybe seven years of this being on the market, it's still like the crown jewel of entry level racing wheels. It's one of those things where when you hit up the forums, when you go online, everybody's going to point you towards a G27. I, I'm sorry, a G29. It's just because you can't fault it for what it is. For entry level, you know, to have fun sim racing, you can't beat it. It's got a ton of buttons that you can set up for just about anything like I have my headlights set up here on square I've got my pit limiter set on X I've got a few things other places that I really don't use and um, yeah it's just a ton of fun you just can't go around it and when you start getting into it you know it's like oh I'm just gonna go around a few times you know run a few laps you get completely sucked in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah. Alright. Let's stop this for a few. You can hear it there. So guys. I don't know what more I can say about this. It is a great little wheel. Oh, let me move that back. Ah. It's a great little wheel. Especially if you want to get into sim racing. If you, don't, if you don't think it's maybe something that you might do long term. It's a low cost to entry type you know, it does come with uh, desk clamps that are built in using these little devices here. They'll clamp onto your desk, so you don't need a sim. You don't need a whole rig, you know, to start off with. You can clamp this to your desk, plug it in, and get going right out the box just to try it out. And if it's something you feel, hey, you know what, I like this, I want to get into it, you can go whole hog. <laughs> All right, so here I am. I'm going to give you a closer look at the wheel and the pedals you know here you go this is set up also to be used with a ps4 ps5 as you can see my playstation is right there and um yeah so like i was saying this is a great beginner wheel uh low cost to entry if you want to you know try your hand at sim racing uh, don't mind the dust and stuff. This will be the next video on how I keep everything clean. So like the leather steering wheel, it's actually perforated as you can see. Um, I'll show you how I keep this clean. And here's the shifter. Ooh, that went ahead and started something there. Let's go. But yeah, you know, this is one of those things where you know, you can get into the hobby and decide, hey, you know what? I really like this. I'm going to take it forward, advance more, get, you know, higher quality, higher end stuff. Or you can go ahead and just stay at this pace and enjoy it as a beginner, you know, and leave it here for as long as you really f you feel you need to. 
it's not one of those things where you've got to go ahead and spend a ton of money, you know, off jump just to enjoy. All right, let's flip this camera around so I can give it the, the end of this. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the, what I tried to make a quick look at the G29 racing wheel from Logitech. Uh, great entry level wheel. I don't know how many times I can say, and I probably said it a bunch of times. It's a great entry level wheel, you know, for beginners, for kids. It's just one of those things you can just take out the box, plug in, start playing. It's awesome also in Gran Turismo. If you happen to be on the console side of it, uh, the G29 is for the PS4, PS5. So if you've got like GT Sport, Gran Turismo 7, you can plug this bad boy up right to the PS and start playing. Um, if you're Xbox fan, which I also happen to have an Xbox, uh, you would get the G920, which is the same as this, just has Xbox branding on it. Uh, both of them will work with PC. So if you're a PC gamer and you want to do some PC sim racing, you can use either or, you know, whatever works out best for you. So uh, you have options. Uh, next video, I'm going to show you how I keep this leather wheel clean and how I keep these cloth seats clean, protected, and smelling good after long hours of sitting in this rig in my kind of hot office. <laughs> but I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.